Hey guys, it's Alexis from Sporty Chick, and today I have with me Molly, and we will be doing some things in the kitchen, like just smoothies and just a bunch of stuff. So, we're going to be using this 201 gluten free recipes for kids, and yeah, so the first thing we're going to make out of here is granola. So that's, a, that's the only thing we're going to make out of here. But otherwise we're going to make some things from scratch. So let's get started. Okay, so we have all our ingredients here. We have, some of them we won't use, but we have like oats and some apples and brown sugar and nuts and just kind of stuff like that. Okay, so first we're going to put apples in them. And then um, some pure maple syrup and olive oil. Flax seeds for good health. It doesn't call for banana, but I want banana. Um, some light brown sugar, peanut butter, and it calls for apple juice, but we're using crayon grapes. Okay, so I'm gonna start by giving half of the banana to Molly. Um, so let's see, how much maple syrup does it call for? Maple syrup. A fourth a cup. I'm not measuring my things out because we're not actually making as much as they call for. So I'm just gonna like... Put as much as I want. Yeah, that's good. And don't forget to heat your oven to 350. And then I'm putting, I'm putting some lemon extract in it. I am not. Lemon. Oh my gosh. Okay, there. And flax seeds. Oops. Do you want flax seeds? Yeah. Two tablespoons. Okay, so how much we're making means just a little. I chop up my apple. Now I am going to chop my apple. <laughs> I'm going to add them to my concoction over here. The concoction over here. As you can see, this is what I got in there so far. Okay, the rest of this apple we'll, we'll use later in my video. Okay, the next thing I'm going to put in is some peanut butter. So I'm going to use my... That's a lot of peanut butter. And it, this is honey peanut butter, so it's going to taste even better. And you're going to want quite a bit of peanut butter because that's kind of what's going to blend it together. It's the base. Yeah, that's yeah. basically the base of the whole thing. Go. And then I'm going to put our crayon apple juice in For a fourth cup, so I'm just going to Now, this is going to be basically the whole thing. Like, you're going to need... <laughs> Peanut butter just blew up. <laughs> a lot of oats. And then brown sugar. Okay, now we're gonna have to mix it all together. Okay, now we're gonna have to mix it all together. Now we're just gonna like mix it all together. And if you need more of something, like if you need more consistency or it's too wet, then just add more granola. Or not granola, um, oats. This. Now you shouldn't do what I'm doing. Putting too much ingredients in. I like to do that. So you need a cookie sheet and you just want to spread it out after you oil your pan. We're going to get our pans out. Oh no, it's going to fall. 
So we're just gonna put some olive oil. Not too much on our pan. <laughs> now you just wanna coat that evenly all around the edges too, so that you don't end up with the mess. And take your mixture and plop it down. You can put it into balls if you want to have like little mini granola balls. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread it all out. These are optional ingredients. Slivered almonds or chopped walnuts or like sunflower seeds. Those are all optional if you'd like. And then anything they put in it is also optional. Okay, so now the recipe says put them into 15 to 20 minutes. What? <laughs> 15 to 20 minutes. Hi, don't break it. I might want to put them in like the middle-ish wrap. Like, I don't trust myself. <laughs> it says to put them in for 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, or until it's golden brown. So we'll be right back. Don't close it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so our timer just went off, and I think they look good to me. So I'm just going to pull these out. Set them on your hot pan. And, mmm, do they smell good. Okay, now let's let them cool. Yeah. Oh, they were too anxious to try it. Oh my god. Uh, uh, that really fell over. Mm -hmm. It really tastes a lemon in there. So do you like the lemon? Yeah. Do you like it without lemon? Molly? Oh yeah. So both are good. I both taste really good. I'm going to be making a smoothie next. <laughs> it has <laughs> strawberries, strawberry yogurt, apples, and some bananas. And orange juice. That was loud. <laughs> this is how mine turned out. It turned out a little soupy, but I won't make But it tastes good. Oh, that is really good. Oh, that is really good. <laughs> and um, this is cherry and orange Kool-Aid mix. And then I have some frozen strawberries, some <laughs> strawberry low-fat yogurt. I have some cran apple juice in here with some um, lemon juice in it. Let's mix these up. So here's mine. It's really red. <laughs> wow, mine's really sugary. I told you to stop. I know, but it's really good. It's gonna get hyper now. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Come back next week for more videos like this. And comment down below on what you want me to do. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Um, and? my, I have a channel. I'm going to be posting more next week. It's a lot about baking and cooking and stuff. It's called Malls, M-O-L-L-Z, space, with friends. And a video should pop up of my Snapchat stories. So sorry this video took so long, but it's worth it. These are really good. Yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys.